Good morning, everybody, and welcome <coughs> to the Morning Vol Report. This is I, Andrew Giovanazzi, Chief Operating Officer of OptionFit.com, welcoming you to our, uh, well, let's say morning look at volatility. Um, VIX in a funny place from the election yesterday. And what does that mean for us today? Well, uh, I want to say one thing, looking at a calendar of economic activity, we have FOMC tomorrow. I kept thinking it was next week, but it is on the 12th. Okay, usually, usually, uh, this has tended to be a vol catalyst. Um, as far as VIX goes, uh, we are getting a, a sharp markup in cash, I think a little more than uh, the rip down. Uh, there's some talk about now since Trump is doing so bad, now the Republicans could lose the House and the Senate, things like that. That's all, uh, let's just call it vol inducing. Um, so <clears throat> that's what we have. So we have a jump in VIX today. Um, everything is a little softer overall. And vol's going up a little bit. Uh, we'll see again tomorrow about rate hikes. I doubt if anything happens in November. We could see something happen in December. Um, as far as VIX goes, what that does is <clears throat> that now brings us to next week's cycle, uh, which has got a solid bid. Uh, Every time uh, VIX gets down to, let's say, the mid-13s, it approaches 13, it bounces back like this. We've seen this, I don't know how many times the last month. So there is a, I think it probably makes for good put sales in the vault products uh, as a way to play bounces. Uh, I think it's hard to buy puts for vault going down, capturing Contango, um, uh, we closed some positions yesterday. We we don't have very much on as far as that goes anymore. Um, so we mostly are looking at bounces and vol. Why do we have bounces and vol when the market's not really doing very much? Something else is at work. Um, elections, election uncertainty. It feels like now that's starting to become a bit of a story. If you look at stuff like Deutsche Bank, okay, it's down 17 cents, but really the story is in the volatility. Um, let's look at three month chart. You know, we had a spike in vol here, and the vol is back to about where it is usually right before earnings. Uh, you got a 54 vol, it's slightly higher. Um, stock, again, but that, that could easily be, you know, a decent earnings report, and if nothing's really happening besides this fine, um, the stock could be up a dollar and a half. Could be down a dollar half. So the earnings move for something like Deutsche Bank in November could easily be a two, a two and a half point move, which is essentially, you know, they're pricing a two point move at this point. So I would say that's at least normal with the earnings cycle, considering how much the thing is sold off already. So vol from that point, not doing much. Uh, the next story I think that's fairly big is Apple. Uh, Amazing they have to recall <laughs> the Galaxy 7 and stop selling them. It's good for Apple. I don't know how many Android users are going to <clears throat> switch to Apple. Uh, this I think this could be a slightly fadable news event. We'll look at a way to do that in the pit report. Probably uh, via selling some call spreads or something like that. Or I would say even selling some near-the-money call spreads. We can take a look at that today in our... Uh, chat room but we have a market that is 2150 still seems to be sort of the pin level uh, we keep drifting up and trying and trying it's just there's not enough good news to take this out the only thing I can think is that we will see something after earnings uh, the Alcoa news is not enough really to uh, turn things around they're gonna split the company you know, again, I don't know what that's going to mean. Uh, I guess that it looks like it's pre-split already, right? I know that was coming. Yeah. Um, so, you know, what's it going to mean for Alcoa? 
at some point you want to have commodity producers making money and getting prices for things. You st we're still not seeing it. Uh, besides a little bit of gold action on interest rate activity, you know, and gold's pulled back a lot. You still see like you know a major producer of materials still struggling uh, with low copper prices and things like that. So <clears throat> the big inflation thing doesn't seem, you know, it really doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be anywhere yet. Um, it's mostly uh, how we avoid or extricate ourselves from all this, uh, you know, G7 uh, interference in the marketplace. So <clears throat> I think the longer term prospects are we'll probably are only going to get better uh, from the phone, but this is more of a one time thing. Um, so my thought is more like upside fly, uh, short way upside call spread, something like that. Uh, you're going to get a little bit of a pop right into. So I think there's a little bit of activity. Um, you know, how long does this sell off last? I don't know. I think probably we could figure out a way to sell some of these ball pops. Um, and we'll take a look at that in our chat room today. But as, as of right now, we still have, and let me go back to the VIX. You know, we still have fairly solid uh, future premium. The November is about two dollars over, about normal. The October for next week, about eighty cents over. Not cheap. Uh, we'll have something settling here. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, you it's still there, um, and I don't think we're gonna you're gonna be able to do much with the October twelve cycle. Uh, Next week's cycle, again, 15 vol, it's how much that this election vol sticks in. We talked about this a little yesterday in our chat room. And, you know, keep an eye on these numbers, right? You've got 11 and a half vol here. You've got 13 vol here. Um, <clears throat> my thought is you're going to be able to buy this vol and sell anything in front of it. <coughs> Potentially as a double calendar. Uh, so keep an eye on that as a trade. We'll try to price some of that in as well. So I think there is there is some opportunity here. And I think mostly think now, start time spreading anywhere you can buy election volatility and sell anything forward. Um, it feels like now after this last, the die is cast that, you know, things could Things can get a little worse as far as more uncertainty and more uncertainty breeds will breed more of a bid for vol past the election date. So you're looking at November 9th cycle and, and later. All right. And with that, I will talk to you all or many of you in our chat room today.